Mr. Porter, what, what were you doing in uh, Roswell, New Mexico in July of 1947? I was a flag crew member. Uh, at the uh, Army Air Base? Right. And what was your rank? As Master Sergeant. And uh, what would normally be your duties as a uh, flight crew member? As a flight engineer. Engineer. Mm -hmm. okay. And what's, what sort of normal activities would you engage in? Well, I took care of the engines in flight. Well, and, and uh, weight and balance and fuel management. Uh -huh. And did you log in a lot of hours in, in doing this? Right. Mm -hmm. what, what craft did you usually fly, sir? It's a B-29. Uh, Explosively? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then. Uh, All right. Uh, I understand that something uh, rather unusual happened in July of 1947 at the base, and you were involved yes, in the right. flight. What, what happened that day that you recall? Well, they, we flew the these pieces, they told us it was a parts of the flying saucer, and we flew from Roswell to Fort Worth. Uh -huh. And it, we started out, they told us we'd be going to Wright Patterson in, in Ohio. Uh -huh. And we got to Fort Worth, and they transferred them to B-25 and, and took them on to Wright Patterson. And uh, what did you do then? Then we returned to Roswell. Okay. Who who do you recall was on board that B-29 when you left Roswell? Uh, Colonel Jennings was on board, and, and Colonel Barraclaw, Major uh, Wonderlick, and uh, uh, Major Marcel was the uh, ones up front. Okay. And and who was it who told you that these, these were pieces of a flying saucer? I don't remember just uh, who it was, but uh, it must have been Captain Henderson. Okay. Uh, what did you think when you heard that? Well, I was... Uh, uh, first, I'd heard of a bunch of flying saucers. So, it didn't really mean a whole no, lot, I guess. Huh? What, uh, what was it that was actually loaded on board that you saw? Well, we had uh, it's just packages and uh, wrapping paper. Uh -huh. And one of them was triangle shaped, about two and a half feet uh, across the bottom. And the rest were in smaller packages, uh, about the shoebox size. Uh -huh. The triangle shape, is that an unusual kind of package? It seemed to be. Uh, yes. and, uh, and this was uh, brown paper on the outside? Right, with tape. Uh -huh. And do you have, did you actually load this stuff? Yes, right. What, what was your feeling when you... Well, just like I uh, picked up an empty package. Is that uh, right? right? Very light. Right. Uh, from, from feeling the package, did you have a sense of what it was that was underneath the brown paper wrapper? Not really. Just, just brown just paper fine. and tape, mm -hmm. but very light. Right. And uh, approximately how much of this stuff did you bring on to the B-29? Well, it was the one triangle-shaped package and about three uh, shoebox-sized packages. Oh, so it wasn't... Was not very much. Okay. Uh, if, uh, oh, I don't know, if we were to... Can, can you give me an idea about what the volume of all of this would be? Well, it's... Did uh, you put it in, the, say, a back seat of a car oh, or yes. a trunk of a car? Yes, it, it's just small packages. And, and you took a B-29? Was it necessary uh, to take a B-29? Well, that's, that was the transportation, I guess. Well, that's all you had? Right. Uh, okay. And uh, what did, what did uh, the fellows talk about on the way to... to uh, uh, there what? wasn't much talk. Uh, I, uh, uh, they didn't talk back and forth very much. Uh, and nothing about it. Yeah. Much. Would that would that be unusual? Was there normally uh, a lot of conversation well, between the? Well, this wasn't crew? a regular crew, so. That, uh, how how is that? Why do you say it wasn't regular? Right? Oh, well, we had uh, officers from other squadrons in the plane, and uh, the Colonel Jennings was the deputy uh, base commander. And uh, Major uh, Marcel's uh, intelligence officer. Would it be unusual for them to be on uh, such yes. a Yes. Oh, um, right. And you arrived at Fort Worth at Carswell. Right. And what uh, were, what were your what happened then? Well, we parked on the front uh, line flight line, and uh, Colonel Jennings told us to finish. We had some spark plugs to change. And uh, he said, uh, as soon as we got our maintenance done and a guard was posted, we could go eat lunch and come back then. 
Was so there anything unusual about your arrival at Fort Worth? Uh, no. no. Uh, so you, you you did your maintenance, then you went out right. to lunch? And what happened after you got back? We came back and they moved the aircraft to the back flight line. Mm -hmm. And uh, told us that they transferred the material to a B-25 to go into Wright Patterson. And that it was a weather balloon. And that was it. Mm -hmm. What did you think when you heard that? Well, I just thought this what it was. You accepted what you were right. told. And then you flew back to Roswell? Right. Uh, was there any conversation on the way back no. about this? No. How about after after this uh, episode? Was there any more? Uh, no, nothing. Was it something that just wasn't talked about or did you feel that it well, shouldn't just, be talked about? Well, we just thought it was weather balloon. Okay. That was it. That was it. Okay. Um, did you have a uh, did you have when did when did you first share or when were you asked about your involvement in this? After in 1979, uh, uh, Stan Friedman called me in 1979. Uh -huh. And uh, what did you did you learn anything more about this than you had known before? Uh, not a whole lot. No. Uh, does it surprise you to know that uh, Jesse Marcel at least said that it was not a weather balloon? Well, uh, not really. Uh, I, I n never thought much about that. Uh -huh. uh, after all these years, what do you think it was? Uh, it wasn't a weather balloon. <laughs> You're pretty sure of that? Right. Okay. That's because of what people said? Yes, right. Yeah. Uh, you're, uh, you're out of the service. Yes. Uh, for a while now, I guess. Uh, 26. 27 years, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, are you are you getting a pension? Yes. Uh, have you gotten any kind of harassment or anything? Uh, none at all. From having talked about this? No. Do you have any regrets about having talked about it? No. What do you think the government should do now about all this? Well, uh, I think they should let the people know what what's going on. You'd like to know, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Absolutely. Is there anything that we haven't talked about that you'd like to say, Mr. Porter? No. As long as we've got it all straight. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Mr. Porter.